Okay, I'm going to log into Mate Smart and create a work order. And this is just going to be a short video just to kind of familiarize you with using the demo uh, that you can download from our website. Now, if you need the link, just send us an email at sales at matesmart.com and we'll make sure you get a link to the download. So when you start the program, in demo mode, you'll be presented with this NAG screen. And for now, it's in demo mode, and it says we have 29 days. So we can just go ahead and click the Continue button and continue from here. Now, if you need to license the software, what you'll need to do is copy the system ID right here. You can click this button, and that will copy it onto the clipboard, and then email it to us. And then we will provide an unlock code, which you can copy from the, re the responding email, and then click this button, and it will paste it into here. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to click the Continue button. And MateSmart is going to go ahead and start up, and I'll need to pull this down here so we can see it. And in the demo mode, you'll get this tip of the day. Now, I suggest you use the Demo Sample Manufacturing Database. This has some data in it uh, that you can kind of uh, play around with and test the program and kind of see what it'll do. Now, it's limited to, I think, for the most part, five to ten records in each screen. So it's, it's fairly limited, but at least it gives you the opportunity to kind of see how the program flows. Now, I also suggest, and actually prior to running this demo, I suggest you contact one of our support techs at support at matesmart.com and we will go ahead and provide a free online demo for you of the software running on our server. And that's really useful to do, I believe, because then you can really just jump right into the demo yourself once you download it and have a pretty good idea of what you're doing with it. Additionally, while you have the demo, you have unlimited phone support and unlimited webinar support. So don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions at all. Okay, in this case, I'm going to click Use Demo Database. Now, I could have picked the sample Building Maintenance Demo Database. That's another one. Uh, for a more advanced user, I would use the Empty Database. Now, I don't suggest you do this until you've actually seen how the program flows a bit. All right, so I click Use Empty Database. And when I do that, since I'm running the demo, I have these what we call bypass login buttons. And these give you a way to get around the login with a password. And if I click this button here, I can still log in, but then I need to know the username and password. And for the purposes of this demo, the username is defadmin, D-E-F-A-D-M-I-N, and the password is 1111 or 41. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the administrator button. Now, if you'd like to test this in a different language, you'll notice any of these that have red text are actually translations that are in the sample database. So we do have several translations. The default language is English, but I encourage you to try some of these others uh, if you're in a country that doesn't speak English. All right, so I'm just going to leave it blank, and that will take me to the default English. I click the Administrator button, and the program says, Welcome. So I'll confirm that I'm logged in. I've got to resize my screen here just to fit on my demo that we're doing. Okay, so we have the program up. We're logged in, and I have the screen kind of compressed to fit into this uh, demo, but this video demo. However, if you click here, you can see the rest of the buttons. Now, normally, you'd see all the buttons all the way across if you're using a, uh, any, any reasonably sized screen. So, in this case, since I have this green key here, it's signifying that we are logged in. I can log out by clicking that key. It will log me out. For now, let's just go to one screen today. And I'm going to go to the work order screen. Now, these buttons are color-coded by their background. You'll notice I have a white background wrench. I have a green background wrench. And well, I don't have a yellow background wrench, but these yellow background buttons over here are going to be for our setup or configuration. So we can set up equipment. 
We can set up our inventory, our preventive maintenance and tasks, and so on. For the purposes of the demo, I suggest you just start by spending most of your time over here in the white background. You can also try out the green. These are your analysis and query. So if you want a report on time and materials cost during a certain date range for a particular employee or a particular piece of equipment or a certain production line or whatever it is you want, you can get that from here. And there's absolutely no limits on what you can report on. You can customize your own reports. It's all drag and drop. It's very simple. Okay, so I'm going to go to the work order screen. I click on the work order, and I notice I get a screen with, with a data grid in it. That's what I'm going to call this. If I left mouse click with my left mouse button on a row, that makes that record, in this case work order number 315, the active record. At this point, I can come in. I can make changes to it. I can give it a priority. I can give it detailed instructions. And these could be very extensive. I can put in comments. I can add any type of file attachment I would like. So there's quite a bit you can do here. You can make a very elaborate work order. You can also make a very simple one. The only two required fields are these two red boxes. All right, so once I have this set up the way I want, I just click Save, and it's taken my changes. Notice the type and the priority are now changed. Another thing I can do here on the screen is I can select a row and then right click, get my mouse, uh, my right mouse button will bring up the context menu, and I can pick Print Preview Selected Work Order. So if I want to see what this work order is going to look like, I can bring it up in a print preview. Okay, now this is fairly simple. So there's not a whole lot on here, but this could be unlimited pages. Uh, you can put unlimited uh, details or instructions into each work order, along with any type of file, not just images. Okay, once I have this, I can of course I can print it. I can export it to any number of different file formats. I can email it. Uh, there's a lot of different things I can do with it. Okay, so that's just the basics of logging into the demo for the first time and selecting a record and then displaying it in a print preview. So what if we want to add a new work order? Well, all the screens work the same way. You'll have these same four buttons at the bottom and they'll always do the same thing. So we already learned that if you left click on a row, that makes the row the active row. But what if we want to add a new row? We'll come down here to our buttons. We'll click New. Notice the box has become available again. We can pick a piece of equipment, pick a task. Now, if we're not sure what task or if we want to filter the task, we can do that. So maybe I want a cleaning task, for example. Okay. And I can populate the rest of these fields or not. It's entirely up to me. Um, a lot of these can be set to default to something every time that you create a new work order too. So I'll click Save, and you'll notice I get the new work order. And there it is. So that's really all it's going to cover in this demo. I wanted to keep it fairly short. Uh, this is, again, for people that are just starting out uh, with the demo and trying it out for the first time. Thanks for watching.